The Badger men's hockey team uh, faces off in the Big Ten tournament starting this Thursday in Detroit at Joe Louis Arena. We'll face Michigan at 7 p.m. on Big Ten Network. Head coach Mike Eves is here and we'll take questions. Well, it's it's a brand new start. It's a it's a beginning, and uh, I think that it, it raises that thought of hope for us. I mean, we have in the second half talked about playing our best hockey coming into March, and we've done that, um, and we want to carry that in there. And the best thing about sports, you can say there's there's the top teams and the bottom teams, but on any given day, I think teams can defeat each other, and uh, we go in there with that hope and seeing what we can come up with. And Mike, two years ago, you had. You face the task of having to win three times in three days to get a, to win a title and, and get into the tournament. What lessons does this team? What, what lessons do you think this team uh, can derive from that that might best serve them? Well, first of all, that it can be done. First and foremost. Secondly, we have the kind of goaltending that can help us achieve that goal. And the third thing that you do is you take every game one at a time and shift by shift to just build on what you can get done. And uh, you know, again. Athletics, especially college athletics, is the best reality show because there's no script. Kids make mistakes, and you can be in the game right up to the last second. Coach, you mentioned March Madness. I just have a question. Do Does the hockey program, does the basketball program, do you guys kind of all feed off each other oh, when it is March? Big time. It, you know, we, the boys and the coaches, uh, just ran into Bo in the hallway outside of his office, and we chatted, and... Uh, the, the, the basketball and the hockey team, both men's and women's, we eat together down here so the kids see each other uh, on a continuous ba basis and they encourage each other, wish them luck. They're in classes together. I mean, when, when you know somebody uh, on a personal level, you want to watch them. It, it, it's draw, it, what draws you to the TV to, to stay in touch with them because you know them from class, you know them from eating, you, you're able to have a personal relationship with them on some level and you, you hope the best for them. So it's exciting. Uh, I know our guys are jacked for these uh, young basketball players and they're wishing us luck and it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Do you think all hands will be on deck for this weekend? In terms of our health? <laughs> Aren't I intuitive? Uh, we'll find out more today. I, I think that as the week goes on, our guys are going to be healthier and healthier, and if there's any way possible they can play, they will. But I know all guys are going to be on the, on the deck today to speak. It'll be a question of how much they can do. Andy? Mike, you've referenced in the past your experience in Calgary and the challenges of a season that wound up being pretty special. Yeah. <sighs> Have you had any other experiences that you'll draw on to, to talk to the players about that, that might measure up to that, that, uh, oh. that can? There, are, I, I think, experiences or, um, you know, what, what we as a coaching staff do all the time is that we log movies and look for scenes to inspire, uh, to tell a story. Uh, and and, and we, will, we will dwell into that movie genre and see what we can find and pull out is just an emotional energizer. Uh, I mean, hope is a, is a great thing. And uh, this time of year, how many Cinderella stories have been written in March through basketball or hockey? And uh, you know, we'll find out together if we can write one of those stories again. You have the experience come conference tournament time of playing up in St. Paul against the Gophers. This is the first time they'll play in a conference tournament uh, in yeah. Michigan in, in the Wolverines' backyard. What do you expect from atmosphere out of all of this? Well, it's the first time we've been there. I, I, I'm curious as well as to see, you know, what the fan base will be. I think it'll be a real neat experience for our kids to play at the Joe Louis Arena. I mean, this will the next time the tournament comes up to go to Detroit, that arena won't be there. They're building a new arena for the Detroit Red Wings. And this arena, it just kind of, excuse the pun, but it reeks of history, like spilled beer and cigarettes and championships gone by. And it, I, I, we want our kids to walk the concourse and see the bronze trophy of Alex Del Vecchio and Gordie Howe and just feel the history. And uh, I, I think it's a, a neat venue for, for us to go to. Heck, I remember when I was a little kid growing up in Windsor, Ontario, we would come across a river and play in the old Detroit Olympia where we ended up winning the 77 championship. And, 
those places, like, you know, our guys have watched games on there and seen championships won. To have the opportunity to skate there will be another emotional energizer for our kids. What makes Michigan tough to play against, and is your team better equipped now to handle no. the way they play? Well, they're, they lead the country in offense, and uh, we saw the first hand here. Uh, we played them much tighter in their building. Um, and even Red complimented our team after how you know the, the second series was much closer. So we've seen them, we felt them. Their their offense, uh, we have some tendencies. You know, we we probably because of all these things we've gone through are better prepared now to play them again in a one game situation. You know, anything can happen. Mike, with a couple of days to think about it, could you put uh, the regular season in perspective from your standpoint? You know, I, I started to think about it, Andy, on Sunday when I came into the office to get ready for Michigan, and I, I spent about a minute on it, and then the next thing I know, I had the Michigan tape on. So I, uh, I knew I was kind of thought you might come back to that question because I said, you know, I hadn't thought about it, but quite frankly, I got so wrapped up in Michigan and the next level, I, I haven't put it in perspective yet. So I think once the season is done, we can have that chat in more detail. Anything else for Coach? Thank okay. you. Thanks, Mike.